Huh? Dave? Why are you here? I mean, up this early. Did I start too early? <laughs> Oops. I'm good. Roswell and Dean looked to one another, confused. What? I'm allowed to be up early, right? Oh, sure. And how much coffee have you had? None? How long have you been awake? Uh, a little while? Again, they looked at one another, not convinced. It's not that bad. I just had stuff on my mind. I couldn't sleep, and, and that's it. Not anything bad, I promise. I'm thinking about my coffee conspiracy now. <laughs> Dave, why are you here? How much coffee have you had? I'm like, hang on a minute. <laughs> I've seen a lot of schlocky action films with a dumb twist that... <laughs> where Nicolas Cage realizes the coffee is the salute. <laughs> Well, if you're sure. What it's worth, you seem better than the past couple days. But if things start weighing you down, let us know, all right? As I nodded, the others were coming down the stairs to join us. Orlando doesn't drink coffee. Orlando drinks tea because the Dragon Mafia all know that. <laughs> <laughs> No, shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Don't will it into existence! Are you upset about how much it makes sense? <laughs> no, it's per it makes perfect sense, which is definitely, definitely insane. <laughs> I can't, I'm still upset by how many plates there are at this table. <laughs> I just, every now and then I look at it again, I'm like, oh my fucking god, this room. Like... It's the most... It's the. It's this would the, be a it's, deeply it's the, uncomfortable table to sit at. Yeah, it's like a comically oversized room to have dinner in, but it is staffed to max, stuffed to maximum capacity despite that. And it's just upsetting because there's like, there's like, <laughs> table for 80. <laughs> the gratuity on that. Breakfast was uneventful. My mind still locked into what Thanatos had said. Funnily, I wasn't as worried as I thought I would be. There was a password waiting for me, and that felt more like a goal than just a worry of a potential thing that might not exist. I mean, that's that's almost dangerous to dangle a password in front, in front of somebody's in this timeline and be like, haha, a password. That means this timeline's dead and nothing matters in it. <laughs> it doesn't matter what happens now. <laughs> uh, uh. Hey, Dave. Huh? What? You doing all right? Being real quiet even after downing a whole mug of coffee. Oh, no. The, the nano machines are in. <laughs> are you feeling unwell? It's me, your boyfriend, Sal. I only exist when you drink coffee. Maybe you shouldn't have swallowed so fast. Nah, uh, I'm good, honest. And why do you shovel your breakfast into your mouth, then just sit there? Get me wrong, seeing you eating with enthusiasm is great, but <laughs> I know for a fact that this would piss you off. <laughs> oh, people yeah, like it would make me very overly <laughs> observing your behavior and policing your like how you're eating food and how you're existing and sitting and like it over would, yeah. over interrogating <laughs> your mood throughout the whole experience. <laughs> like it, it would, would truly frustrate me. It's deeply aggravating. <laughs> <laughs> I I honestly hadn't noticed. Do you have somewhere to be? What? No, I don't think so. Lie. Remember this character trait from ten days ago? I'm. I, my question. I'm not. What? What does he have to do? What, what did? They didn't. He just ended his prior commitment to Thanatos without further direct action that was immediately pressing. <laughs> Well, he's going to go up to the room to finish talking to Thantos. Yeah, but that is literally something that can and should wait. There's nothing else he has to do right now. It's like, it's only, not like a pressing he's be concern. He's after not doing anything for days. 
Sure, it's, it's sure, but when someone... get down to this, then maybe Thanatos will finally say something in our fourth conversation. <laughs> sure, but what I'm saying is normally when someone goes, do you have anything better to be doing right now? And it, when you respond, not really, and it's a lie, that means you are actively, you're like here against your will when you would rather be doing something else. When we chose to come here for this at this particular moment. <laughs> I think that Dave just has no agency, so when Thanatos tells him, go eat breakfast right now, instead of just going up to his room to have to finish the conversation, he feels like he has to, like a child that was ordered by his parent. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like shoveling all the food into his mouth to get breakfast over with faster and people are noticing is what they're going for here. Gotcha. I'm... I'm not... The whole table was looking at me curiously and I groaned, rubbing my face. Okay, I just... I want to go back to my room. I haven't really figured out what I'm doing today beyond maybe giving the vault a try later. Is that a wise idea? I don't know, Sal, did you have any plans? Were you gonna come up with I anything? I was gonna watch anime with Haas. Wow, good solution, Haas. <laughs> Sal. <laughs> what other choice do we have? Well, just don't go alone. I have to stick together, remember? In my room or the vault? <laughs> <laughs> I can promise that much. Well, good. I already went there alone, though. And, and outside. <laughs> alone. <laughs> no one needs to know. But, uh, I'm gonna head off. See if I can figure out what I want to do today. Before the others can say otherwise, I quickly got up and headed upstairs. Sure did take your time. You literally told what me they to just said was that they also literally just said that he didn't that he they noticed he was acting weird because yeah. he ate too fast. Thanatos is just rude all the time, but it's like sure <laughs> take your time. You sent me on a side quest. We could have just talked. You you're the one who exactly. keeps not just telling me stuff. <laughs> You've actively wasted my time all morning. And it's extremely noticeable to me, the Let's Player, because I'm like, well, that's the end of it. I cut another episode. Uh, Thantos <laughs> didn't say shit. <laughs> it was an episode about meeting Thantos, and he didn't say anything. Except for the re revelation about her mom. I wasn't gone that long, but what was I meant to do? Say that I had a talking rat in my room and that he was telling me about my mom? Do that, and they might ship you off to the loony bin. Well, maybe we'd escape this place then. <laughs> Bad chance of that happening while the road is out. Fair point. So where were we? My mom. She was here, right? Right. Showed up here one night out of the blue. Caught Benny Boy off guard, drenched and upset. That doesn't sound like my mom at all. She's the kind of person who rides motorcycles, picks fight with, with people that, that when they do wrong by her, she doesn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> my mom has never been upset once in her whole life. She rides motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> her husband died, Dave. Jesus Christ. Uh, I've watched bikers cry. <laughs> That was an oddly specific thing to say, but I grew up around a lot of, of, of an entire motorcycle club. Neither did you until a few days ago, <laughs> right? I... well, that's different. I was going through things, which my mom As wasn't. As if your mother... <laughs> yeah, which apparently your mother wasn't when she was in the middle of a messy divorce and then her fucking ex died. What? Man, Dave has not processed that, her par that his parents are people yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dave also just doesn't understand how emotions work. He just uh, zero emotional regulation at all. Maybe your mom was too. <laughs> Either way, she was here. It was late one night, but we're not really close to anything. Wait, what the fuck? What is that? That statement doesn't make any sense. Was late one night, but we're not really close to anything. Uh, Is he saying... She came here late at night, but it's not a coincidence because this manor is in the mountains? Is that what he's saying? Yeah, I think that's what they mean, is that this location isn't... Sentence. You don't come here on accident. 
but they yeah. phrased it incredibly strangely. Where it's hard to. It's I don't late. Know. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's Australian. Night, <laughs> we're not really close to anything. How can I believe you on her being here? You could tell me anything to get me to cooperate. Nah, that's right. I could tell you anything, and you'd have no choice but to believe me. But she was here. Whether you choose to believe that is uh, up to you. And there's nano machines in your coffee. I wish. I wish I could talk to her. Maybe she'd make some time to let me ask her why she was here. Make some time. <laughs> oh yes, Dave. Uh, I can. I, I can schedule an, a revelation for two thirty. <laughs> My very busy, busy doctor life where I can't talk to my child ever. <laughs> I sighed out, shaking my head and leaning back against my bedroom door. Or even asking Oswin. I guess there's Benson, but that's not who she spoke to. You have bigger things to worry about right now anyway. Like what, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, you keep not telling us much. Right. The vault, which means... Fears. Uh, let me think. I started to pace. Thanatos watching me from the bed and leaning back against one of my pillows. Come on, can't that can't be that hard to think about what shakes those bones of yours? Uh, uh complex pulley systems. There's just so many. What about you? Why are you? What are you scared of? Don't look at me. I wasn't made to feel fear. Made? Don't you mean born? Same thing to me. Some people feel it. I don't. Simple as that. I was about to leave it at that, but he seemed to continue on his own, looking troubled. Yes, if I had to say, though, you know, hypothetical, like... Being trapped, maybe. What, like in a cage? Is that why you broke out? Break out? Nah, like a metaphor. I just like my freedom. Are you free here? Didn't you say that the... F Didn't he say the hedge maze is as far as he can go? Which almost seems to suggest that he might have like a range that like he can't get past. Don't envy your situation, though. You've been trapped in a cage ever since you started messing with the vault. Well, it's scary. Knowing that if I screw things up, my friends could die. I don't want to be responsible for that, but here we are. What choice do I have? Yeah, it's just how the die was cast, huh? Rules are simple enough to follow. You can figure this one out. Not the first, not the last, either. What do you mean? Like I said, rules are simple. You want the word to the vault, and you have to think about what could traumatize you. What would scar you so much that it'd last over time and space, yeah? But that's... That could be anything. Jeez, you're dense. Think, Junior. For starters, my name isn't Junior. It's Dave. Call you what I want. Focus. But you're just asking the impossible. Where do I even start? Start with your friends. I already bailed them out once before, right? Is that a clue, or are you just telling me what I should be doing? You know what the word what the word is, right? He just shrugged, flashing me that smug grin. Uh, fine. But I'm taking a moment to grab a shower to pass the time until they're done with breakfast. You're in the shower multiple times a day. Why? Yeah, why, Toaster? You will? I just get self-conscious about how I smell. That is not why Toaster <laughs> takes so many showers. <laughs> Invest in something for that rather than bathing. Shooting him a look, I went and showered anyway. Maybe I was being paranoid, but one thing that I remember Dad teaching me is that it's important for hyenas to stay clean. Either way, it couldn't hurt, right? About an hour, 
about half an hour later, I was ready to head out again and wander downstairs. Thanatos in my hoodie pouch, staying out of sight. Although the noticeable bulge meant I was meant I was carrying something, and I need to think of an excuse to give to give out just in case. Notices your bulge there, ooh. 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 Why is everyone interrogating you about your bulge? It's rude. Okay, so now I need to find my friends. They're done with breakfast, so they're around here somewhere, right? Great, great. That you you manifested <laughs> the one person I didn't want to didn't want to have to deal with. Most likely to interrogate you about your bulge. Yeah, great. Good job, Dave. You did it. You caused this to happen. Who are you talking to? Whoa, Roswell. Where did you? come from the depths of your mind palace <laughs> i've been around still figuring out what i should be doing today but nothing's really jumping out at me remember to drink your coffee oh uh and judging from that reaction you've already got plans right am i that obvious A little, but I don't think that's a bad thing. There are others I can ask, so it's no big deal. Sorry, I've just... Yeah, I want to investigate that thing just to put my mind at ease. Oh, then don't let me stop you. I think Haas has gone to find Benson, and Dean and Sal are having a chat about... Uh, uh something. They just remembered their best friends. To be honest, I wasn't really a pen paying attention to what they were saying. You don't say. They didn't say my name enough. What about Ty? Just, In Orlando? What a self-centered person. Oop. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> it's a cutoff. It's just, it's out of proceeding. Yep. I think all I can read it say is, oh, before it cuts anyway. <laughs> it's so. like, oh, there. Cutting Roswell off was the sound of Tyson yelling upstairs, followed soon after by the sound of Orlando yelling back. That sounds bad. That was Ty's angry yell. So I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I, hate, I hate this character so much. So I don't think they're in <laughs> danger, one. but... I'll go check it out. Want to come with? Knowing that Orlando can breathe fire and Tyson can, well, be Tyson, I'll pass. Oh, well, remember we should be sticking together if you're not going to come with. Where are you going? Probably go find Haas and Benson, see what they're up to. Wander off alone in the sticking together plan. Yet again, another yell came from upstairs. You should get going before they tear the house down. Stay safe, Roswell. See you later. This room is so much. <laughs> I forget how much this room is. I breathed a sigh of relief as I hit the top of the stairs, half cradling Thanatos still hidden away. He hadn't seen, he hadn't said anything and was almost deathly still. I was about to ask him if he was okay before yet another yell drew me to the rec room. I told you, it's too fucking loud. It's already on 10%. If I make it any quieter, I won't be able to hear anything. Looking between the two, Tyson seemed irritated, tugging at his ears and snarling as he spoke. He seemed a little standoffish at breakfast, but I hadn't really been paying attention. I don't care. Turn it down more. You'd always leave. You're just lucky Dave's here, otherwise I'd punch you in your fucking face. Oh yeah, well Tyson's regressing. Tyson is worse than he was for the first like 15 Just days in the last couple of days. Really sudden, weird character change for him. Yeah. Tyson was specifically not violent for the entire first half of the story. Despite the reputation for being so years ago. Tyson, what's gotten into you? My words caught in my chest and my stomach lurched. My vision started to blur, and Tyson's response came out sarcastically at first before trailing off, his expression turning to concern. 
Then it all went black. Dave just has absolutely zero ability to to progress the plot. Literally, the moment <laughs> something happens and there's conflict, and he's like, "Oh no, this will teach us something." He just he quits. He just says, "Nope, sorry, I, the game the game can't continue. We need someone to exposit at us now to tell us what happened instead of just show, showing us the result of this fucking conversation." That's a very abrupt pass out. That's wild. Uh, did he? Did he land on Thanatos? <laughs> Who's in his pocket? I feel like I was floating. Thanatos gonna get squished and just splat underneath him, and that's the death. <laughs> or maybe. It was oh just... no! It looks like the password is manslaughter. Oh no. no! I felt like I was floating, or maybe it was just vague unconsciousness and trying to remember what made me black out. Oh, ah. It's so startling how the font just changes sizes when it proceeds sometimes. Yeah. Was Tyson all right? Was Orlando? Even Thanatos? Oh, I... My hearing returned first, soon followed by the feeling of something plush underneath me. He did land on him. Oh, I get up! First you nearly crush me, then you just lay there sleeping. My face hurt, and as Thanatos reeled back to slap me across the cheek, and I, again I flinched, sitting up quickly, shifting him away from me. I'm just imagining now, because Dave said that uh, the bulge in his pocket was huge, that they're like, Dave, are you okay? And they roll him over onto his back, and then Tyson's like, oh, buddy, yeah, I guess he's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> All the blood rushed there, and that's why he passed out. <laughs> Upsetting. Finally! Ow. How long have you been hitting me? My face really hurts. Last count. Just figured eventually you'd wake up. What about how long I was asleep for? What happened? You tell me. You were talking to your wolf friend, and the next thing I know, you're landing first, face first on the floor. And I got here? Tyson and Orlando carried you here. Rather, Tyson did, and then Orlando made sure you were all comfy-like. I didn't think he knew their names. <laughs> He's an exposition hence, machine. He knows all the, of their names the conveniently. Wolf friend. <laughs> so I didn't think he'd you start using their names immediately. Normally, Tyson would do that, too. Yeah, well, he seemed to be in a mood, didn't he? He was yelling about the volume of the television, I think. Yeah, it seemed that way. I'm not used to hearing anyone ever talk about the volume of a TV as a percentage. I didn't even hear it as we walked into the room, so that couldn't have been it, right? Beats me. This is your investigation. The password is tinnitus. You are still able to. Yeah. Yeah, I'll... I'll be fine. Based on nothing, because I have no idea what happened. The way I see it is, at least you have a lead now. Yeah. God, my head is still killing me for some reason. It's real bad. But I'll be fine. Because you've drank... You've drank absolutely no water for the past four weeks and have only been drinking shitty coffee. <laughs> and then suffering head trauma. He's gonna get he's gonna get gout. <laughs> he's just gonna be really not okay. Just, Dave, get a glass of orange juice just for me. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you expect me to do about it? Did I land on my head when I blacked out or? was in your pocket, so... I don't know. Don't think so. I got up out of bed, rubbing my head as I stood. I should check on Orlando and Tyson, figure out this password thing. I'm gonna be... so... I, I just want to state this, that if the next immediate scene is us just going back to Tyson or, and Orlando and having the conversation we would have had five minutes ago had he not just randomly blacked out inconveniently out of nowhere, I'm going to be very frustrated <laughs> because that is very bad. Like, that makes no, this looks, blackout... I think they're, they're going to split up, though. Yeah, probably. 
I guess my point is more don't put the conflict scene there just to arbitrarily then end it for a plot uh, device reason. You could have him black out at any point. You could create a better uh, a better reason for them to be together, a better reason for them to be talking, because this ostensibly just increases the tension and shows us that the group is getting worse. But all you're doing by doing that is splitting up the actual information gathered just in order to basically shoehorn in a piece of conflict that for me, for isn't me the actually the that is, meaningful. For me, the, the question at the moment is whether or not the blacking out is like a thing that's going to keep happening and getting worse, and this is a yes. new problem for Dave, or this just randomly happened for the scene? Because that would be bad yeah. if it was if it's not yes. going anywhere, because that was a strange I mean, thing. I'm sure that they're trying to set up this thing repeatedly, but like, I just don't know... I, I don't know how effective that actually is. I almost wonder... I think the best interpretation I can come up with for the scene, as far as it like going somewhere well, would be the idea that there's something in that room that's fucking yep. with people, and that's exactly that, what I was and thinking. And something specifically in that room is like fucking with Tyson, and he's hearing something that isn't the TV, and it's something yep. that Orlando can't pick up on, but it fucking yep. knocked Dave out, which means it hap which means it happens to coffee drinkers, <laughs> it's nano yes. machines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. But it's just, I think it's a really sloppy way of introducing that because it's using it. If we are going to, especially if we go just straight back to that room, well, that's, I think we are. that, yeah, would be a problem. Because it looks like Orlando and Tyson split up as the prompt by Thanatos. Had you read this one? Who yet? are you planning on talking to first? Does it matter? Yes, not, but you want to talk to both, consider it a clue. I'm going to be arbitrary for game design. <laughs> huh, well, I, I guess I'll start with Tyson. I'm kind of worried that what was upsetting him, maybe something happened. Only one way to find out. I wandered out and followed the sounds of angry muttering upstairs to the conservatory. Ty? What? He spun quickly to look me over, breathing hard. Just seeing if you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Fuck off. I mean, fuck off, please? Character growth. <laughs> <laughs> no? Something's bothering you and like, you haven't snapped like this in a long time. What happened? What's wrong? Nothing, it's just a headache. What's wrong with you? I'm fine. Honest. Just tired. That's fucking bullshit and you know it, Dave. I mean it. I'm fine. Let's just both call it, keep saying we're both fine and that the other one's lying. And we'll just loop forever and... <laughs> he stomped over, grabbing me roughly by the shoulders and narrowing his gaze as, as he leaned in to check. You passed out and expect me to believe you're just fine? I do. I promise, Ty. It's just... I don't know what it is. Maybe I just ate too much fast or something. That's what, <laughs> that's the thing that happens. Maybe everything just is catching up to me. You're fucking lying to me. I swear. No, he's not lying, Tyson. He's just st stupid. <laughs> he believes it. Swear what? That you'll hit me? Look, I'm worried. I don't know what's going on, and all I know is that this headache is damn bad. What kind of headache? The kind that makes your head hurt? What kind of question is that? Well, I've been having headaches too. Maybe not as bad, but they're not fun. Oh yeah? What are they like? Uh, my head starts to hurt? <laughs> I swear to God, these people. <laughs> they're I both, think... They're in an infinite loop yeah. of asking each other the same questions and giving each other the same answers. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I think you, it's, what kind of question is that? Uh, it made my head hurt. Yeah. Really? You, what uh, kind of headache? It made my head hurt? <laughs> <laughs> you you clued onto something, you know, obviously, where it's like, it's setting up this idea. It's setting up this idea I think that, that... I think that Tyson's getting a password. Yes. But he doesn't know exactly. about... Well, yes. Uh, he doesn't know to associate it with the vault. 
I, I definitely it. think that's true. You, you're setting up, I think you clued into the idea, of course, that it was setting up that they, there's something transmitting or there's something doing something that he was hearing, and that's what's causing all of this. Like, that's what causes the headaches, and that's why Dave gets them. I think maybe a better way to communicate that in that scene is to... Because, like, what is unclear is, like, why does Dave pass out, but other people don't when they get them? Because as far as we knew, didn't Orlando ostensibly get one in one of the other routes? And he never mentioned passing out, did he? He said some kind of thing about a dream or something along those yeah. lines. Uh, so, I guess... And yeah, yeah, I guess we have been passing out every time we successfully put in a password. Yes. But never before, never when we, no. when the character goes, here is the word for the password, you know, like whatever. Still not clear on how they're related. But my, my point here is I think it's interesting that we immediately pass out. But like Tyson is ostensibly sitting in that room for multiple minutes beforehand with a headache, his head getting worse. Like he's like, this is really uncomfortable. This is I don't like this. Turn it down. Turn it down. Turn it down. He Like he's sitting there long enough for us to hear him yell and then go up there. Dave takes one step into the room and passes out. Yeah, I think maybe a better it's way to communicate so the stakes. <laughs> yes, I think a better way to communicate the stakes of that scene and make that interesting um, and, in, and to introduce that idea to the player might be literally just to have Tyson pass out during an argument with Orlando. Dave and them go up and say, like, what the fuck is going on? What did you do, Orlando? Orlando's like, nothing. He was yelling about the remote, the volume. And then all of a sudden, Dave passes out. That increases the stakes because it communicates to us immediately something weird is happening. Increases the tension because we thought, at least at first, that Orlando could be lying. And then also shows that this is happening to multiple people instead of just relying on, like, I have a headache. What do you mean a headache? Me too. It's a headache. My head hurts. What kind of head hurt? The kind that gives you a headache. Like, <laughs> it's that kind of inefficient writing that I think muddles the pacing of how this information is being delivered, if that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if, I don't know if huge problems with the scene, if it goes in the direction I think it might be going, and these all these parts yeah. are actually adding up to something. Uh, but it is, like, it is, like, abrupt and distracting to, like, enter the scene, then immediately leave it and just... Yes. Opt out, and you're like, huh, okay. Because yeah, we could have gotten more information on Tyson if the scene was longer. Uh, well, because, like, right now, again, it's just kind of telling us things instead of just, like, letting us see the consequences of those things and then put it together ourselves. So that's kind of what I was getting at there. So it's just like, okay, I guess Dave passes out now. <laughs> All right. My head starts to hurt, but. They go away pretty quickly. It's weird though, mostly random, but mostly like, whenever I think about the vault, maybe it's stress. Mine's different. He cut in the moment I stopped talking. Like, most mornings I feel like there's a drill up against my skull. That bad? Why? If I knew why my head was ringing like this, you think I'd be bullshitting you right now? He seemed crazed, almost feral. He was snippier than normal, that, than normal for him, and that hunch in his shoulders wasn't helping his image. I didn't quite understand what was happening, but something wasn't right. Would, would sleep help? I don't fucking know. Maybe. Well, you're swearing more than usual, so you're either hungry or tired, or it's the headache that we just described, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He hooked an arm around my neck and started grinding a knuckle into my head as he held me in a vice grip against his chest. Okay, I'm sorry, stop. Relenting for a few moments more, he eventually let me go and stepped back while I tried to fix my already messy fur in vain. Yeah, maybe I'm just tired, but could be the bed, could be... Fuck if I know. Didn't he say it was every morning? Did I, did I read that wrong? Uh, that it was every morning he feels like this yeah most mornings so it's not, it's not like a one off or anything hey those bear tranquilizers if it's your bed should did you want to use mine to see if that helps nah I'll go find a quiet room to lounge in if it's the beds then just using another one isn't going to help well if you're sure. The offer's there, though. 
Yeah, I know. Thanks. At least my head isn't hurting so bad now. Sometimes it's real bad during the night, but I'll manage. Rest up and we'll talk later. Before I do, you sure you're alright? Yeah, why? If something's bothering you. I can't tell, I can tell by your nose that you've got something running through your head. Tell me. I... You know what? Forget it. <laughs> This is Tyson. an incredibly wasteful use of our time. Tyson. I'm so frustrated by this. Tyson. Why does this why does this <laughs> game constantly do this where it's like, "Hey, we're going to actually provide information to the player as a follow-up for what we're setting up." Never mind. Like that's not compelling character writing. It doesn't mean there's rough. division in the group or that characters are like not communicating with each other. This can be com that like that idea, the idea that people aren't trusting of each other enough to like actually be vulnerable to them even as a character flaw, can be communicated in a way more efficient way than just, hey, can you come here, Dave? I want to talk to you for a minute. Uh, never mind. You know, like, it's just, it's so consistent and it's so frustrating every single time it happens. It's all, But it's also like, I think these characters are people that communicate with each other normally. Yeah. At least that's what the game keeps telling us. Yeah. You know what? Forget it. I don't want to be lied to right now, and I doubt you want to tell me the truth anyway. It's fine. Sorry, Ty. Soon, maybe. It's so weird how, how Dave just admits he's lying to people. <laughs> I just don't understand just why. Like, I still don't not... get why. <laughs> yeah, we aren't given clear enough reasons for why he doesn't... We don't get enough internal monologue explaining why he doesn't want to tell certain people certain things, or even who does and doesn't know his various secrets, because he just has so many, apparently. So we don't have a clear just... sense of the stakes or why he's doing them. Uh, but then he ha he repeatedly keeps telling people that he has a secret that he's not telling them, which is a weird move, too. This character is just kind of nonsense. I Whatever. just I think that this character is bent over for the sake of the plot. Like, it's it yeah. really feels like a lot of these things are like, oh, no, like we uh, I'm writing a mystery, so it has to be mysterious. How do we do that? We just like have the characters say vague things and then walk away from each other all the time. Like, it's just, it's, it's very weird. I don't I'm just sitting here, like, why? like, begging him, because, like, I'm, like, begging Dave to realize, like, oh, Dave's, uh, Tyson's thing is, is something to do with the vault, probably. Like, you should probably go interrogate the vault, the thing you want to do today anyway, and you should probably get Orlando and Tyson to the vault, because they're probably... They both have had some kind of reaction to it in different ways, as far as you can tell. And then Dave does think about the vault and connects the headaches, and then just leaves. <laughs> I'm like, ah, uh, wait, <laughs> wait. What, aren't we gonna get down to the bottom of this? I stepped aside as he wandered out of the conservatory and out of sight, breathing out. So it was a headache? You really think that? I don't know what to think, but if he's in pain, I hope he feels better soon. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know what to think? You thought it was tied to the fault. Better question. I think that's a clue to whatever it is you need to figure out. Thanos has become the annoying let's play comment section that like time codes a part of your video and is like, oh, funny you should say that. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Might not be surprised he bailed before you had the chance to spill the beans, though. Like he'd believe I had a talking rat hiding in my pocket. This is an easy solution, Dave. It's he's there. It's like so. the it's like the rat can get not like the rat can get away without being seen. <laughs> like he's a, he's on you. I might have just showed him, probably for the best this way. Anyway. Tell me something. You know about the vault visions and stuff, right? Yeah, why? And you know who has and hasn't used the vault? Of course. How would you know if it's a timeline thing? That I, seems what difficult I don't understand to know. Is... That seems like a very difficult just... thing to know. I think one thing that it's failed to set up, it's something that we can infer, right? Like we're playing this game and Thanatos keeps going like, you need to solve the problem yourself. I can't just tell you all the answers. You need to know, you need to figure it out. It's all about you. It's what traumatizes you. 
that makes sense if you give this game a profound degree of faith that I don't think it has earned, where it's like, oh, we're playing the game. So like, of course that makes sense. We just need to, we just need to puzzle it out ourselves. But there has not been a single moment yet where it has effectively communicated like, why why can't we just work together? Why isn't anyone working together? What is no. Thanatos's pull for n n just speaking in riddles? Like there's nothing about his character has set up that this is like something he's struggling against. In fact, if there is some sort of arbitrary reason why he can't give us the answers, he seems perfectly fine and honestly a little bit too apathetic towards the fact that he's like, yes, I just have to watch this chuckle fuck struggle through this whole thing. Maybe we'll all I die. I think it's because Thanatos is a kane -ing. Yeah, he's I like, think so too. You have to learn how to use control the morphogenic fields. That's the whole point of this experiment. So we have to learn how to manifest passwords in order to... Yeah, he's doing it but he purpose. has never actually stated that. <laughs> like, that's what I'm sure. saying, is that he's, but also, he's just going like... Akane you, or other characters like that don't do that either. No, but later. Akane is yeah is pretty straightforward when she says this is the game you have to play the game there yeah. has been no game set up yet that's right. what i'm saying there's no it's structure both. here yeah, there's, with there's which no this implies three, there's no game there's no like structure to the experience for the characters in an in universe so they don't have like an, a a series of goals or stakes yes to work against to manifest them getting the passwords so instead you just have a annoying rat that keeps prompting you to like solve the puzzle <laughs> yeah like it literally is like he comes here rule, and he's and like has rules that are hard to define and these are rules they're easy to understand you just gotta figure out how it works dave and dave is like bro i how do i have any agency over this yeah. thing that has so it's far like happened to me with absolutely no pattern at all yet just kind of sitting here helplessly like you're neo and he just keeps elbowing you in the ribs over and over again like eh eh there is no spoon <laughs> exactly there's no spoon get it do you know, there's no spoon, figure it out. There's no spoon. <laughs> I'm just getting, I'm just getting really tired of being jerked around by this game because I think, I think that, I think that there is a co cool core idea in this game and in this story that could work. And I think that you could write this story in, this Let's Play is going to be 150 episodes for a story that takes 10 episodes to tell. That is how I feel right now, very honestly and candidly. And it is extraordinarily frustrating how much it is jerking us around. Can Tyson use it? Could that be where his headaches are coming from? Of course. Oh, fucking, thank you. <laughs> what? I must have pressed the joystick. Wait. Uh... Oh, that was uh, never mind. That was a I made I made up a revelation <laughs> by hitting a button somehow. That was the of course of who knows who is if he knows who's used the vault. It's not after oh, Tyson gotcha. <laughs> using the vault. That would have well, been he, that would have been like, oh my god, thank you. He just gave us an answer finally. <laughs> nope, he says this instead. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but no dice. He's not coded in. Well, who is? Also, what the fuck did you just say to me? That's alarming. What did you just say to me, rat? I'm coded in? I'm co- I'm, what the fuck? <laughs> so wait, does this just mean our theory here about this fucking transmitter that's giving people passwords? The literal only pattern that we could possibly discern from this is just not what's going on and it's pulling another rug from underneath us? This is it's just exactly Dave, Dave the shit was, I'm talking about. Dave was apparently just chosen to be the password man. He's just stuck so does with that. that? Defa like, he's factually <laughs> stuck with that. Why do you want to know? I just want to double check. Easy. Few people are, but not everyone that is, has it is access. That is has accessed it. You and Orlando have both gotten something out of it. Others, uh, not so much, despite being coded in. This is a huge piece of information. <laughs> so people are specifically given permission to use the pet, the vault. And I guess Tyson's like maybe a really important character because he's divergent. He's the character that isn't from inside the system because he was brought in by uh, by Dave with no warning. Uh huh. Really? Who else? 
That doesn't matter. It relates back to the testing of when it was being built. Neither of the other two have used it, and you can take that to the bank. Neither of the other two. All right, dude. So two other people are coded in, and one of so them is Orlando? So there are four people total. Or it might be two plus Orlando. It's uh, two plus Orlando, yeah. Why... If this is a controlled experiment that's supposed to accomplish something, why did they allow plus ones? Why Here's that... another thing that's confusing. He just said that it relates back to when the testing of when it was being built. But he mentioned that Carolyn came here after the vault was built. He was like, she came here to investigate this whole thing. So how was Dave programmed into when it was being built if his mother didn't show up until just now? Did, was he a member uh, of the child? Did they, Are they, gonna did they establish that the vault was already here? They literally said that she was here for some reason to do with all of this because her, his dad had died. Yeah, but did they say the vault existed explicitly? Or did or did I the mean, vault come into existence because his dad died? Is this all an experiment to bring David back? I don't know. If that's the case, that... Are we going to get a just, password where we go back in time and save dad and that's the true ending? Okay, maybe that maybe that's it. I don't know. Who can say? I'll take for me, it. For me, the weird thing is that Thanatos existed for that scene because you would think yes, Thanatos exactly. might well, that's be what I'm a, saying. something yeah. that you would try to create in the process of saving Dave, David, but yes, but he was already there because he's the witness. Because <laughs> so if Thanatos already, has already, already defeated death, then what's death the point? Yeah, well, like, well, that's what I'm saying is if Thanatos defeated death already, what's the purpose of making the vault that defeats death? Other solutions. Cool. Thanatos is like some sort of weird fucked up process where you can make a rat not die, maybe. But maybe you, that doesn't mean you necessarily like like dig up David and Victor Frankenstein him or something. Uh, but I, it does seem like this guy's completely obsessed with death. Which, like, I don't know, if I killed hundreds of children, I'd probably want to undo, figure out how to undo that too. <laughs> yeah. But he probably did that right, in the maybe process I just of trying to do this wrong. too. So, I don't know. The timeline's hard to parse. Yeah. Let's see. If it doesn't matter, then why not just tell me anyway? Fine, it was Oswin and his sister. Happy. Thank so you. So Florencia punk. is a member. <laughs> well then, yeah. So Oswin and his sister can use the vault and then me me and Orlando? So Carol so here's here's what this is setting up. It's that Oswin and his sister, Orlando's dad and Dave's mom all got together for whatever this was. Now, the thing that's confusing to me, though, is that he said that they were coded in when it was being built, but we know that Orlando's dad showed up wanting to get access to it to begin with. So how did that happen? Was he part of the project and then left and then came back with the Dragon Mafia and was like, I want to buy the thing we worked on? Yeah. Or I don't... did he discover it after the fact and then get Orlando coded in? I'm not sure. But either way, those are the four. Now there is absolutely yeah, no the, judgment cast on any of the man, people in our party. Did the sneaky man who murdered Benson once put Orlando in during this game? No, well, I have no idea because he just said it has to do with when it was being built. But maybe yeah. that only refers to Oswin and his sister, as in the other two. Yeah, I'm not it's, sure. It's, it's hard to figure out what that exact exactly what that sentence means. Neither of them have used it at all. How do you know that? One of them tried, but didn't get the word right. Gave up soon after, and I'll give you two guesses as to who that was. That's okay, but how do you Wait, know? I'll give you two guesses didn't when Benson, two people. <laughs> didn't Benson say that he also had the keys to the vault when he was telling everyone to do the... 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 Roswell game? The thingy? I'm still not sure the, which vault he meant. <laughs> like if he yeah, meant the upstairs the, or downstairs one, because <laughs> because the one or, yeah. not the, or the 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 one that's downstairs versus the one that's in the secret passage, which is also a vault, but is just I think they're two sides of the same vault. I, th I think I th they're two I, sides I of the same. I thought that vault, vault was just just ultimately his lab. Maybe I. I don't know. I don't know. I've lost. <laughs> would, I've lost the thread it's very completely. Confusing to have a second vault that seems to have different purposes. Yeah. That's okay. But how do you know? I have my ways. I was around at the time it was brought online. I gave him a funny look, frowning. 
And how old are you again? Last I heard about anything about how long rats live, it was only a few years. What did I tell you? Gods of death can't die. Right, so where does that leave us? He's just not gonna answer the question, cool. <laughs> Next up would be the dragon. Unless you feel like you've already gotten everything you need from this already. No, I'd rather not take the chance and get everything I can in order. It suits me fine. I'll be listening in, but don't expect me to help interrogate him. I don't get shit for information from these people anyway. I just get nothing and then you tell me stuff afterwards. <laughs> it's a hint. <laughs> no hints, but also I'm going to give you all the exposition after you get almost nothing from Tyson. All right, well... <laughs>